Good morning and welcome. As you can see, I'm about to work on my uh, noir uh, black Halloween uh, signature. This one will be using two sheets of uh, Canson 9x12 watercolor paper folded in half because that's what uh, I built my uh, journal cover for. And I like to uh, use watercolor paper uh, for the uh, underpinnings of uh, signature pages because they can take what you throw at them. So, there it is. As you can see, I've pulled out quite an array of goodies. Uh, let's start with the uh, biggie. Today, on this one, I'm going to be doing um, stitching on my new sewing machine, which I uh, follow the directions and got it working. The um, uh, bobbin making and the threading was quite simple and quite nice, and I treated myself with a 50% coupon at Joann's to this um, roll of um, pieces of fabric, and as you can see, this one, well, this one is going to turn up in this uh, signature because uh, I want to play A with my sewing machine and B, uh, warm up my skills using a sewing machine because it's been quite a while and C, well, I've just seen all of the wonderful things that can be done incorporating uh, fabric into a junk journal. Uh, so, that's one thing. It's going to be a great experiment. Uh, I dug around and found this uh, bat that I had uh, created uh, quite a while ago and did not use. So, uh, it was supposed to be, um, it was made to be stuffed. But I'm not going to do that, of course. I'm just going to see if it will work in some place. It might not. Uh, I might save it till uh, the next time I do this uh, next year, uh, hopefully, do a, uh, a Halloween um, journal. Uh, this uh, black sequence upon black, that was great fun doing and quite simple actually. That was just ordinary uh, running stitches and then applying of some um, sequence. So that, I hope, show, shows up. I'm going to use some more of the, um, the blackish colored uh, ribbons that I used, uh, that I didn't use in the other uh, Halloween journal. So that's ready to go. This was the ribbon that was wrapped around the uh, roll of uh, pieces of fabric. I have my bling roll out. I have this frame that I have been hoarding for years and years and I'm going to use this someplace because I think it will um, I think it will lend itself to some bit of fun <clears throat> this was one of the uh, of my learning experiences with uh, uh, junk journaling and uh, as you can see I was I remember to use my corner punches and that was fine and this is some as you can see some uh, uh, stamping but I forgot to do the, uh, to grunge up the back. Live and learn. A feather in case I get carried away again. Some more uh, papers that I had pulled out. And some of the things that I think would include very nicely in a, um, a journal of this kind. So I'm going to, uh, this came in happy mail. And some more uh, pictures that I thought might lend themselves to this journal. And here I have two absolutely delicious uh, napkins that were, um, uh, were uh, sent to me. And this one that I can uh, pick out bits and pieces for, I think. And let's see what else I pulled out. Oh, yes, and a piece of... Uh, oh. This is a, uh, a girl that I did when I first, first, first uh, started uh, doing mixed media. 
and uh, I was very tickled with that drawing. I had never done any drawing at all. So this was, uh, and you'll notice how I managed to keep it for four years or more. So I'm hoping to use that someplace. And on and on. And this is one of uh, Christy uh, Sobolewski's uh, Little Monsters. And here, here is the uh, piece of paper that I swore I wasn't going to invest in, but on sale. I dug into my other papers and found these that I thought might look nice in this sort of journal. Oh, look at this. My, my, my. What is it now? Oh, it's a rub. Oh, well. I'm getting a little bit better at those, so uh, maybe there's hope for me, particularly since I've discovered this. And this, and an envelope, and the piece of card, and this was on the back of, uh, of that, and I had no idea that it was there, but it's wow. So, and a piece of my own painty paper. And another piece of dark paper for this sort of uh, Halloween journal uh, signature. Now, what I've decided to do is um, explain my plan to you, and then I'm going to uh, stop talking and uh, add music so that... You can watch the process without uh, being interrupted um, and probably hearing the uh, grunts and groans that I will be making um, along the way. You don't need to hear my musings um, because this way I can, um, I can uh, condense it, the sound, the, the length of time a little bit. If you enjoy, oops, and I got out my toy that I so love for painting, so there's definitely going to be some... Um, uh, painting involved. Before I begin playing with this, I want to, um, I'm not sure, but I think I'm going to want to get some um, paint. I don't know whether it's going to be a gouache or uh, acrylic on some of these uh, pages and then apply these papers either as part of the um, embellishments or as part of the background. I don't know. So, if you enjoy uh, watching this uh, last foray into um, Halloween journals for me for um, this year because on Sunday I'm planning on uh, uh, doing some uh, decorating in my family room uh, and in just enjoying the season. Please give me a thumbs up if you have enjoyed uh, this video. Share with a friend. Leave a comment and I do uh, attempt to uh, answer all that I receive. And I would certainly appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. So, let the, uh, the new experiences and the, uh, and the fun begin. Bye now.